Good evening for police. It is a familiar sight. Drivers trying to avoid a DWI checkpoint. But it doesn't usually end like this. Here's News 13's Rebecca Atkins with the video. Well, Dean and Jess, this officer may have prevented a tragedy with her quick thinking, and she says she'd do it all over again. I was directed uh, as long, well, along with my shift partner uh, to go set up and be a turnaround vehicle. And Officer Erin Streeter did exactly what she was there for when she spotted a car turning around outside a DWI checkpoint on the frontage road earlier this month. Her only option, to plow right into him to keep him from driving the wrong way. Passenger, show me your hands! Passenger, how many are in the car? The driver of the car was approaching the checkpoint near Cutler when he flipped a U-turn. Why are you going the wrong way on the road, sir? Officer Streeter says her partner had already tried stopping the driver before she decided to hit him. I looked to my left to see if there's even traffic coming. There's two vehicles. I could see their headlights coming that up that ramp. So she put herself in harm's way. All I saw was a sobriety checkpoint. All right, and so why did you turn around when you saw that, sir? I don't want to have to go do it. The driver, 23-year-old Keith Romero. Where were you at? Romero told Officer Streeter he didn't drink, but was just giving his friend a ride home. He also had one request. Can you not call my parents? Streeter walked away okay. Her car took a beating, but she says it's a stark reminder of what she finds out on the roads every day. Knowing that I possibly, you know, stopped him from hurting someone else, you know, I, I think that's definitely a positive that came out of this. Romero was arrested for aggravated DWI because he blew a .16, which is twice the legal limit. Jess, back to you. All right, thank you, Rebecca. State police say they made four DWI arrests at that checkpoint before they had to break it up early to deal with that crash.